a decentralized, community-run cryptocurrency charity project? Well, today we're talking about Pawtherium, whose main goal is to give back and help animals all around the world. But before we do that, make sure to do your own research and figure out if this project is for you. So this awesome project just completed their 12 days of giving, which we'll talk about today. They did for 12 different days of uh, up until Christmas, they gave to 12 different organizations, which I think is awesome. Uh, a lot of people have been excited about this project because of uh, all the great things that they've been doing. So let's just jump into it today. We're going to talk about what this project is all about, their tokenomics, their white paper, what they're actually doing to help these animals out, and of course, how you guys can be involved if you guys choose to do so. So let's go Pawtherium. <music> So here we're on the website at pawtherium.com and it says invest in poth, animals get saved. So pawtherium is a centralized community run cryptocurrency project, charity cryptocurrency project that gives back to animal shelters and advocates for well-being of animals in need. So if you are invested in this project, you're uh, essentially giving uh, some of that money and do helping donate to help these animals out. So I think that's great. We'll talk about how to buy, uh, the telegram, social, etc. But here's some quick stats. 436,000 has been donated to charities and shelters. There's 30 plus core team members. Obviously, it's, it's a great vision. It's a great mission that, and there's a ton of people that want to help. And then also a ton of people that want to invest. So there's 1,710 holders. We'll obviously check them out, how this looks like in CoinGecko and Karn Market Cap. Um, but a lot of people have been excited about this project. So what's this project all about? Um, they help. They want to help animal and charities and shelters all the world. And as you've seen, they've already done so. Uh, so when invest in Poth, you're also giving back by supporting, rescuing, fostering stray animals, and advocating to protect the rights of the animals to be safe, healthy, and valued. I think it's not only good that they're actually just donating money. Uh, obviously, that's very important. Uh, but I think just like uh, the educational piece of that, making sure that people are aware uh, of the situation and how it could be better, uh, I think is uh, even more important. So helping animals. So they charge a 0.5 transaction fee. The fee's going to straight to the charity wallet. That's it. There's no percentage for team compensation. And they say, with your support, uh, you, we can be the voice of animals in need and protect their rights because well, they're unable to themselves. Uh, and so they talk about the latest donations. Um, of course, they work with a lot of different partners, so it's great. So if you want, just want to check it out. Uh, and it's all animals all over the world, even sloths. Uh, uh, I think that's cool. Um, so they've reached, they're saying that we reached Day 11 of our 12 days of giving. Yeah, so every day leading up towards Christmas, they were uh, giving uh, to different organizations. Uh, and then they said on the 11th, uh, 12 days of giving. And with today's donation, Pothium is going to demonstrate our love for all animals. Whether you have paws, claws, or hooves, you're a friend to us. We're proud to announce that Pothium has donated 5000 to the Sloth Conservation Foundation. So, cool. Uh, and then, of course, you can learn more about the other foundations that they um, uh, have worked with, which I think is awesome. So, and it's good, like they're not just donating to one specific animal. They realize that all animals uh, could use a uh, uh, monetary contribution uh, to help. So I think that's great. Buy, buy Pothium with their credit card and contribute to helping animals today. So that's cool. They talk about the different places where you could buy, but how to buy Poth, download MetaMask, top up your wallet, connect to Poth, swap. Uh, so it's cool that they have their own swapping service. Add Poth from the list, trade ETH, and then their slippage is five, four to five percent, and done. So really easy. Look at the roadmap. So they've accomplished a lot. So October they launched. Tenth um, of October, uh, they had a voting platform with thousand holders. They had their first charity campaign. Listen, Coin Market Cap, Coin Gecko. They had their audit. November they did stats page, post swap, updated the white paper. Um, they did a lot of competitions, giveaways, uh, and listing on FTX as a token to be tracked. That's cool. And then December, uh, I think a couple of these they already have done or like in progress. So forums launch, planning on NFT strategy, uh, which is cool. I like it when projects incorporate NFTs as another way to get involved with the project. Partnerships, uh, platform where shelters can contact, interact with the community, which I think is really cool. Like I said, they're already doing these connections with all these different organizations. So I think that's great. Uh, finalize NFT strategy and then listening to another decks and then more to come. Like I said, they're just starting. There's a lot of exciting things to come. 
uh, in the future. So if you want to look at the team behind this, uh, the community core team members, um, you guys can. They obviously have a ton of experience and it's great that they're showing who they are and obviously like their LinkedIn and Twitter, etc., uh, which I think is great. Um, and if you guys learn, learn more, um, definitely check them out. So if you want to look at the different partners that they've worked with, um, they have a ton, so you guys can check that out uh, on their website. Uh, they also have, uh, if you're a shelter, that always has some information, uh, which is really cool. Like I said, um, they want to make sure that they're providing as much help as possible and make it easy to contact them and work with them so if they have the information laid out there. Uh, this is how uh, all the donations that they've tracked. Remember, they, we showed on the homepage, it was like 436000 But this is really cool. It kind of shows like where they have donated. Um, uh, and I think it's really good. You could check out the charity wallet uh, on the uh, an ether scan to prove that, but it's cool that they're kind of doing this uh, globally, uh, and I think it's awesome. Um, and then, like I said, uh, six listing click listing fee for centralized exchange has begun. The goal is 100k. So if you guys want to um, help check that out and check out the progress um, on that and what to do, uh, you guys can. And then this is the white paper, it's 11 pages. I'm not gonna go through it all, but kind of talks about their mission, how you guys can be involved, um, talk about the tokenomics, uh, it's kind of like what, how they plan to work uh, with these different um, places, shelters, partners, organizations, um, really good. They talk about their team, how to buy, and just kind of really just emphasize the need uh, for a project like this and kind of their, their vision uh, for this project moving forward. So this was their medium where they talked about their holiday update for essentially the 12 days of giving. Uh, in terms of donations, we're doing to not to one, not two, but 12 different organizations who work hard to keep animals, too hard to help animals every day. Our 12 days of giving is going to launch on December 14th and it'll end on Christmas Day. So if you guys want to check out all the different ones that they donate to, you can. Uh, but I think it's really great how they, um, you know, are, are giving back, doing this initiative. Uh, like I said, they, I, I think a lot of projects out there are working with one or two organizations. It's great that they work with so much other organizations. Um, and like I said, I think it's definitely helping this project grow. Uh, and then other updates, list on FTX, white paper updated, and then obviously they talk about um, their team uh, and how they kind of like are streamlining their work. Uh, and then now they're saying all team have happens to Discord. Team task manager happens to Notion uh, and he files emails to the Google Workspace. So this has a legitimate business and operate more than just uh, you know a new crypto project. So uh, I think I really appreciate that. And obviously, since they're working with uh, professional organizations and uh, shelters and things like that, they want to make sure that uh, those shelters and organizations feel safe working with Pothereum. So they definitely want to put their best foot forward. So if you guys want to follow them on Telegram, it's Pothereum, uh, or if you want to follow them on uh, Twitter, it's Pothereum as well. Um, so they talk about some updates. They say 2022 is almost over. In this Tuna Tuesday update, we look back on what we've accomplished while looking forward to a bright future as 2022. So uh, it's great they did like a wrap up here on the latest medium. Uh, obviously, they talk about the 12 days of giving. Uh, they donated a ton, uh, 157,000 in those 12 days, which is great. And then uh, that's the 436,000 in 12 months. Uh, three months uh, roadmap for 2022. Um, they just plan the focus on uh, after so now that this 12 days gets over. They just plan the focus on um, uh, what's happening in 2022, and then they said that the roadmap will be released on Friday. Uh, they'll do more uh, medium posts. They'll do some uh, core member changes if you guys want to check uh, out on that. But essentially, they are still uh, going strong, even though some people changed um, what they're working on. I still think that. Um, you know, they have a lar very large, passionate team making sure this project is a success. So definitely check it out if you guys want to uh, learn more about this. It's great that they're keeping you guys updated as much as possible. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this um, project. Obviously, they keep donating and having more um, events and giveaways and posting. Um, so definitely check it out if you guys are interested. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated. But that's Pothereum. If you guys want to jump in this project, uh, I do think it's a good time to do so. Uh, obviously, the price uh, is a little bit down like all crypto but i do think they have a lot of exciting things uh yet to come in the future uh and i can't wait to hear hear more about it remember the roadmap comes out this friday so it's obviously going to speak more about what's coming uh in the next year but i do think a lot of awesome things are going to come uh from this uh project so thanks for watching catch you guys next time <laughs>